to anyone who ever said children should be seen and not heard. I want to tell them about the kid I saw at the Natural History Museum. Who ran up to a meteorite, hugged it and yelled, I love you out of space! I love you out of space! That boy tore a moment into the silence to remind everybody they are made of Milky Way miracles. That humanity walked out of the hearts of dead stars to be here. To understand what a dead star is. Light takes a hundred thousand years to cross a galaxy, but his voice crossed the museum floor in seconds. Sending a flamethrower of diamonds across our faces. We collectively strung our hearts like bunting above the tiny parade of his space enthusiasm. I hope no one ever says anything dumb to make him change. To the girl I read about, who repotted a plant into the ground and decided, Now the world is your new pants. Or the kid who was shaking the trunk of the mulberry tree and declared he was stirring the sky. I hope you made soup the size of the sea. I want to use your voices as medicine for every moment of apathy or shame, for every moment we forget we're dazzling in our flesh suits, that we can unzip ourselves and return face first into the galaxy, that we can think about walking upside down on mountaintops, that we can be friends with forests, talk to gods, reimagine the fractal formation of everything. everything. For those of us who grew up not heard, not listened to or not believed, who were dismissed with the flick of a hand. Those crescent moon cuts still sting. They are carried under our skin, in our hair. They are carried under our skin, in our hair. They scratch us behind the eyes and are pushed into our DNA like metal into dough. If I could, meteorite boy, I'd put you on my hip and carry you back through time. I'll invent microphones and speakers so I may blast you deep into the past, to those days where we felt we were not enough, where we tempted a different ending. You could yell, I love you out of space. I love you out of space. Directly into those moments. Directly into those moments. Where we kept asking. Where we kept asking. To be more. To be more.